Just released out of early access is one of the first devices in Ubiquiti's smart power lineup of products, the Power Distribution Professional, otherwise known as the PDU Pro. Now, normally this is the part of the video where I do an unboxing of the product and all of that nonsense, but I've actually had the PDU Pro in use since February of this year. It's been the power backbone of the test network rack that you see right here behind me. But now that it's out of EA, we can finally talk about it. The PDU Pro, or model USP PDU Pro to be more specific, has an MSRP of $279. Before we get into the specifics of this particular PDU, let's first talk about why a PDU, or power distribution unit, is important for your network rack. A PDU is essentially a power strip on steroids. It takes a single power outlet and expands that out to power up multiple devices. As it relates to computer Computer networking, a PDU typically also has a form factor that's friendly to network racks, either a 1U or 2U horizontal form factor, or a vertical form factor that would typically be installed on the back side of a full-sized rack. In the case of the PDU Pro, it's a 2U rack mountable device that's designed to be placed either in the front or the back of a network rack. As you can see in my installation, I opted to have it in the back of the rack. Beyond distributing power to multiple devices and having a network rack friendly form factor, PDUs usually have some level of surge protection or power conditioning to enable that clean, even power is distributed to your devices and that they're protected from power surges and spikes. The USP PDU Pro does all of that and it allows you to configure the individual power ports in Unify Network. It's also hiding some extra surprises that we're gonna talk about in this video as well. The PDU Pro has a total of 16 125 volt AC, 15 amp max power outlets for a total of 1875 watts maximum capacity. 12 of these power outlets are oriented horizontally across the top and four of them are oriented vertically spaced out across the bottom 1U of the PDU Pro. These four are good for larger power bricks that take up extra space. It also features four USB type C ports with a maximum of two amps per port or a maximum of four amps or 20 watts total power budget across all four USB ports. The USB type C ports can be used for any number of USB-C powered devices, such as the G4 Doorbell Pro, the G4 Instant Camera, or even just charging your smartphone. The front of the PDU Pro also features a circuit breaker as well as the same 1.3 inch touchscreen that we see on many of the Unify enabled devices in Ubiquiti's lineup. The 1.3 inch touchscreen display allows you to see network and power consumption stats for each port in the device, as well as display information such as the IP address and network status. Now, let's talk about the four network ports on the PDU Pro. One of the network ports is a fast ethernet port and the other three are gigabit, two in the front as well as one in the back. But why do we need four network ports at all on a PDU? The fast ethernet port is easy. Right? That's the PDU's own connection to the LAN as well as how it reports its status to Unify Network. But the other three ports are pretty interesting. Ubiquiti has decided to use the PDU as a redundant WAN distribution device in addition to all of its other power capabilities. If you look at the PDU Pro's installation guide, there are two types of setup for this device. Type A is really simple. You take the PDU Pro's fast ethernet port and you plug it into the network. Bob's your uncle, you're done with the installation. But installation type B showcases a more redundant setup where the PDU Pro takes your ISP WAN connection into the gigabit network port labeled ISP that's on the back of the device and then splits that internet connection out into two separate Dream Machine Pros. Now I assume that this works the same if it's two UDM Pros or two UDM SCs, but I'm not sure which other devices may be compatible with this type of redundant router setup. Then each of the UDM Pros has a fiber connection over to the Switch Pro aggregation, which then distributes out to a 48 port switch, and then finally into the fast ethernet port on the PDU Pro. So this is really cool, right? I mean, we are finally getting to a point where Unify is going to be supporting redundant firewalls like a real enterprise router slash firewall solution, right? The problem is that it doesn't seem like the software has yet caught up to the hardware. 
Now, this may just be an early access thing, which I'm really not technically supposed to be talking about, but I'm currently running Unify OS version 1.12.24 with Unify Network version 7.2.93, which as far as I know, is the latest versions of both of those sets of software. I'm not seeing anything in the PDU Pro to indicate that any network ports besides the fast ethernet port even exist. I mean, if you look at the device view in Unify, you can only see one network port. None of those WAN ports are showing up in Unify at all. Additionally, I have my PDU Pro wired up so that my ISP connection terminates into the ISP port on the back of the device and then comes out the front on port 22 and into my UDM Pro. This is actually working fine as I do have internet access and network activity on the port on the UDM Pro, but there's no indication whatsoever of network activity on WAN port 22 of the PDU Pro. So what are my thoughts on this? I, personally, I think it's great that this feature is coming and I look forward to a day when I can make a video on an HA set of UDM Pro firewalls, but it doesn't seem to be a reality just yet. The software hasn't caught up to the point where this is supported and I'm on early access software in my test network. All right, so enough of the overview. Let's actually take a look at the PDU Pro in Unify to see its capabilities as of the latest version. Here we can see the PDU Pro in the devices view of Unify network. If I click on the PDU Pro, we get an overview, which tells us the device version, IP address, uh, model, MAC address, uptime, etc. We can also see some uh, statistics about the power usage. We can see right now it's at 90.4 watts and it's pulling 1.06 amps. If we look at the uplink, we can see that the fast ethernet port is connected to the UDM Pro complete setup. That is the name of my UDM Pro. But notice that we don't see any of those WAN ports. That's what I was talking about previously. If we click on insights, we can see total power utilization in watts. I'm just barely using a fraction of this device uh, while I'm recording this video, but it actually is running a decent amount of equipment. I've got my uh, QNAP QGD 1600 on here. I've got a 24 port switch, the UDM Pro, as well as the USW Enterprise 24 PoE, as well as some miscellaneous like a flex camera uh, and a G4 instant camera that I have plugged into one of the USB ports. So it's got a number of the ports, the power ports already used up, but again, it's just a lot of sort of low power draw devices. It's only pulling a total of 91.49 watts. If I click on settings here, we can see every single individual power port and we can see the one fast ethernet port. And I keep reiterating this, but again, we don't see a view of any of those WAN ports that are featured on this PDU Pro. If we click on any of the individual outlets, we can see that per outlet, we can not only name it so that we know what's actually plugged into that device, but for instance, you can see my rack fans here. The rack fans on top of this network rack are super, super loud. So I do have them plugged into the PDU Pro, I just have them set to disabled. So when I first turn on the entire rack, they fire up and they sound like an aircraft taking off of an aircraft carrier. And then as soon as the PDU Pro connects to Unify, it sees that that port's supposed to be disabled and it shuts those off. But on a per port basis, we can also see how much power is being used by each device. So for instance, it looks like my QNAP QGD 1600 is taking up the most power. If I click on any individual port, we can turn the power on and off for this particular port. We can click the button down here to just power cycle that port. And then we have a really interesting feature. We have modem power cycle. This basically means if the UDM Pro detects an internet outage, it knows that your modem is plugged into a specific port on the PDU Pro. And as an attempt to sort of self heal from an internet outage, it will power cycle whatever ports you have labeled as modem power cycle. The idea being here that oftentimes a reboot of an ISP's modem can fix an internet outage. And that's usually the first thing the ISP has you try when you're troubleshooting regardless. So this kind of just does that for you. If an internet outage is detected, it reboots the ISP's modem automatically, hopefully bringing that internet connection back. Other than the per outlet setting, we have some settings for the 1.3 inch touchscreen display, 
Uh, we have services such as what management VLAN is managing this device as well as SNMP details if you want to add those for network monitoring. Uh, as well as network. So it's DHCP on mine, but you can choose to give this PDU Pro a static IP address if you want. And then of course we have all of the usual unified network uh, management options such as updating, rebooting, locating, uh, forgetting the device out of Unify, all that sort of good stuff. So there you have it, a first look at the USP PDU Pro for Unify. Now we get to the part of the video where I talk about how I feel this device can be improved. First, of course, and most obvious, the software needs to catch up with the hardware. I would love to be able to show off the PDU Pro splitting out a single WAN connection into two UDM Pros. Now, I'm sure that's coming, I just don't know when, and I have no crystal ball into the inner workings of Ubiquiti. Besides that, though, I think this PU is pretty feature-rich. I like that each outlet can be controlled individually. I like the modem reboot functionality. One thing I would like to see is time groups. And they would be great if you could set up groups of time that would allow you to schedule power on and off for each individual outlet. Now, this is a really dumb example, but like I have these LED lights that are running around my network rack. It'd be great if I could schedule it so that the LEDs were only on during business hours and then if the PDU managed that power schedule. I mean, there's obviously a thousand better use cases for that specific feature, uh, but you guys get what I mean. Aesthetically, the PDU Pro is gonna be a great complement to any Unify heavy network rack. It looks great, and as far as pricing goes, the $279 price tag really isn't that bad when you compare it to other 1U and 2U rack mountable PDUs from companies like CyberPower or APC. That being said, if you guys know of a comparably priced PDU that is as feature rich as this PDU Pro, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to take a look at some of the comparable competitors. One more thing I should mention is that there are a few other devices in the smart power lineup of products that are still in early access, so I can't really talk about them, but I urge you to go check those out in Ubiquiti's early access store so that you can get a clearer picture of where Ubiquiti is going with all of these new products. All right. That's gonna do it for this video, and I will absolutely follow up with more information about the UDM Pro redundant setup in the future, so be sure to like and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for two to three brand new tech videos every single week. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.